until triple hooks, he was the best set I'd ever found in Tempe. Um, and I just, they were laying on top of each other, pouring rain, I was running, I just grabbed him and started running towards the car some more. And I didn't even realize it, but he actually had a kicker off that back end there, and then he's got this cool little extra thing coming off his front. So he's actually a four by six. And I realized it when I was running back to the car, I felt the cheater and was like, wow. Realized it was a lot better set than what I thought he was. Cool little deer. Just one that I'll never sell. I Good memories, cool character. Finding deer around here like this doesn't happen all the time, so. This is from Southern Utah or something. It wouldn't be nothing really impressive, but. Cool deer. I've kept him for a long time. All right. Here's a deer that, we actually have two different deer that we call big fronts. One of them's from the Henry's and we call him Henry's Big Fronts, and then we have a deer that, if you follow me, you've seen lots of stuff from him. But I have footage from him from four year, different years. We haven't seen him this year. We did see him the years before. I have three different, er, no, I have two different years off of him, and then the footage from Two years ago, he was absolutely insane. I've got lots of good video from him, but he's the Sam Pete Big Front. And he is right here. He's extremely short before he splits. That's how we know it was him, but I actually had a friend of mine match up the set that I have from him. And then he's, he's really cool because he changes a little bit every year. The year before the set I picked up, he actually had a big extra horn coming off, or no, it was the year after this set. He had a big extra horn coming off of his base. I mean, it was attached, but it was probably eight, nine inches long. Some people around here call him Hank, but I've always just called him Big Fronts because he's got weak backs, but I mean, really good fronts. So this was the first year I found off of him. And a guy named Corey Daniels actually helped me match him up. I ran into him the next year after I found this one when I picked up the other, the, the next year one side. He, uh, he walked up there and I was showing him and I said, I, oh, I've got the same deer's horn from last year. And he says, I've got the other side. And we worked a deal and I got it. But So this year he was pretty, pretty unique. Or pretty close, same. Well, the next year, he didn't split in the back. He actually split in the middle. And there, other than that, just a little more mass. Really identical, but he just changes a little bit every year. This is the only year that he did this middle split like this. But I knew it instantly that it was the same deer. This is Sam Pete Big Fronts. And I actually... Picked up my dog actually picked up a horn late this last year and I thought it thought it was his horn from last year. Looked a lot like all the video I had of him, but then I actually saw some video by the people that call him Hank and they I recognized it. It's got a little bigger back end. It's a eighty seven inch or no eighty two inch horn and it's a four by five. It, I think it might be his son, because it looks so much alike, and I did think it was another year off of him, but I was wrong. After watching the video, it's just a four by five that looks a lot like him, a little heavier. So that's Sam Pete Big Fronts. And two, two years ago, I picked up one side off of uh, the Henry's Big Fronts, and then I had a pretty cool horn that a good friend of mine that I met down there wanted it. It wasn't very big, but he knew I had picked up Big Fronts. And he had a horn from Big Fronts from two years before. And it had busted one time. So I actually have two years off of the Henry's Big Fronts. And 
I mean, it's going to show all these singles later, but since we went through Big Fronts, I'll hurry and show you him. And he is right there. Right here. We'll see why we call him Big Fronts also. So this is the one I found, and he had good pictures of it. My friend that I met, uh, his name's Wes. He actually had pictures of it from like a week before I found the horn. And as soon as he saw it when at our camp when we pulled up, he says, he found big fronts. Same thing, really good fronts. This one's really good heavy horn. And then good big old crazy eye guard. This is the same deer from two years before. And it's really impressive to see how much he grew in two years. Too bad he broke that this tine off. But I got this horn traded for just a little teeny thing, but it was actually, I've posted pictures of it, but it was just a little weird two point on one side and it was almost a 90 inch four point on the other. And he knew the guy that had picked up that four point side and he had some good pictures of it. So he traded me this horn that I had for that one. So that's, that's Henry's big front. All right, now, uh, two years ago, on our normal February Henry's trip, it's always right around my birthday we go down, and we'd done all right, but we went out February 19th, my birthday, and we found this buck, so we named him the birthday buck, and he goes 190, not very good forks, craziest eye guards I've probably ever found on one, but just really good potential. This is the birthday buck. Found him two years ago, February 19th. We'd hiked into a hole we'd never gone into and got on his tracks and found him. But as I was saying, these eye guards are absolutely wild. I mean, quite a bit of scorable inches on these eye guards. Definitely a little different than what most uh, eye guards look like. Yep. So that's the birthday book. And on that same trip, same year, we found this white set. And it's real close to 190 as well. They were about 50 feet apart. My brother picked these up. We kind of throw all our horns together and sometimes he has a good year and sometimes I have a good year. And sometimes we both do good, so no matter who's finding them, we're having a good year. I mark all my old ones. In case anybody ever stole them, I would know my mark. That way I know the years before. Yeah, that was also from two years ago. This one is, we found it the same day as the four, typical four point I told you we found in Arizona this the end of last year. We found this one the same day. Really cool little deer. It's too bad it was as old as it was. But it's a four by six. And it was sitting pretty much side by side. I posted pictures of it. Those of you who fall, you can probably see it. It's got my brother and the two horns and my dog. My white shed dog Falcor. Pretty cool little deer. Pretty good eye guards. I'll have to fix him up and ground him up. It's a pretty cool deer. Is that one? Uh, the year before, this one's nothing special, but it's kind of cool because a lot of the jeans down there they have a drop front on it down in Arizona, and we found two different sets like this. Nothing major, but it's really cool how those front beams drop down. Found quite a few deer like that.
This deer, I'm going to show you, it reminds me a lot of a whitetail. We picked him up down in southern Utah, but not in Henry's direction. It was actually down more by St. George. And they were actually almost sitting on top of each other. We probably found these almost 10 years ago. He broke the one side, but he was really cool in line 5x5. Five five. Not huge, but just really pretty. You can probably see why it reminds me of a whitetail. Broke that front off that side, but just kind of come up all crazy like that. One we've kept for a long time. Just cool little set. This one I found uh, Nevada dead, and the skull was just chewed to crap, so I just cut him off, and he died in the velvet. Nothing huge, but he does have some extras, or a extra on each side. Too bad he was in the velvet, because the horns are kind of softer and stained, but still a cool little buck. Now this horn, I'm going to show you, it's also from the same spot of that one that reminds me of the white hill, that 5x5. Five five. Found it in the same area. We went down to go see the rut down there three years ago. And my brother found this horn and it's broken. And I'll show you where it busted off and it still scores incredible for as much as it broke off. This would have been a very big deer. It's also a 5 in line. But where this horn is broken, it still scores 77 inches, 77 or 78 inches, and it busted off well above the eye guard. You see where that horn broke off? But that would have been a very, very big deer. I'd, I'd imagine if it would not be broken, it's probably really close to a 90 inch one. I'm not going to go through all these, but I'll show you. We've got quite a few pretty good singles. I'll just show you them real quick. Yeah. This one, I have two years off of him. He did change much, but just grew a lot more mass. I, I think this white one five point southern Utah I believe this one is three years earlier than this big one I've got this is an 86 inch five point heavy one of the heaviest dense deer horns I've ever found I mean, that, it's just way heavier than it looks but that's a big big heavy five Really wish we could have matched up all these big singles that we've found throughout the years, but when you go to a popular place, a lot of other people pick them up, and you never know. It could be laying out there, but I found this one four or five years ago. Really cool five point. I mean, just heavy, big. This was one of my wife's first good deer horns down from Southern Utah. Found it Easter morning six or seven years ago probably. We actually just, we were uh, staying in Capitol Reef and we just drove down there for the day to go see if we can find something and she found this buck. Really dark, dark horn. He'd been rubbing on the burnt trees. But really cool tripod. Not a real huge horn, but just Score just doesn't do this one justice. Really cool character. And that's one on there still because it was her first really good deer horn. This is another good scoring horn my brother found. This one goes 80. 85, I believe. I remember right. We found this one five or six years ago. Had a little 